Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an API gateway for uh, our Oracle functions. So once you are in the Oracle Cloud UI, click on this hamburger menu on the left top corner. From the developer services, you have to select API management, API gateways. On the left side, you have to select the compartment in which you will be creating this gateway. Click on this create gateway. Provide the name API for functions uh, and the type. I'm keeping this as public. If you want to have a private, then you can have that as well. Uh, from the virtual cloud network, we have to select the compartment. Sorry, we have to select the VCN uh, available in this compartment, uh, which we had created in our previous video. Uh, that is VCN API. Uh, and from this, you have to select the uh, public subnet. A certificate, if you ha want to have any, uh, then you can add it over here. Else, uh, we can have the default one. Keeping everything as uh, default, I'm clicking on this create gateway. Our gateway uh, has been created as a status. It's showing as creating. Under the deployments, uh, we have to create a deployment for our uh, Oracle functions. So this option is uh, grayed out as of now. We'll wait for some time until our uh, gateway is available. Yeah, now our gateway is active. Now click on this create deployment option. Provide the name uh, for our uh, deployment. Uh, I'm selecting the option uh, that is to create a deployment from scratch. Uh, if you want to upload a JSON file containing the API, then uh, that you can do it as well over here. Path prefix, uh, you can provide it over here. Okay, I'm giving this as uh, hello world python. Select the compartment. API request policies, if any, you can have it over here uh, by clicking on this. There are a few policies available, mutual TLS, uh, authentication and all. Uh, if you want, you can have it over here, JWT custom and all. We won't create the authentication uh, in this video. There, there is configure to, there is an option to configure the cards access, uh, rate limiting. Uh, we can add the limit over here, number of requests per second. We can uh, restrict it to two. Uh, type of rate limit is uh, total or we can have a per client as well. We'll add uh, one rate limiting uh, policy over here. API logging information warning error, uh, we'll add it for error. Uh, if you click on this advanced, there are a few advanced options that is for tagging for a particular namespace. Once done, click on this next button. Uh, coming to the root, uh, here it should be unique for a particular uh, uh, root. Uh, we can have multiple routes. Uh, in our basic information, we are having a path prefix. This is uh, unique for uh, each gateway deployments of a gateway uh, but for in a route we can have multiple routes uh, created here i'm giving hello world python in that i'm giving as hello world route method uh, i'm selecting this as post type is oracle functions we can uh, select this python app and select the function as we are having this python first function over here we can have the policies added at the route level as well that is to add the course access uh, header validation if any we can validate the header uh, uh, we can mark the header give the provide the header name and click on this required uh, we won't do it over here if any body, body validation we can uh, add it over here by clicking on this add uh, media type we can provide it over here we can as required or no show advanced options uh, here we can enforce the mode as well query parameters transformation if any we can do it over here okay uh, there is a root logging policy uh, response caching uh, route response as well so uh, i'm keeping uh, everything as uh, default and clicking on this next button so at the end in, uh, there is a review page in which you will uh, get all the information of what you have configured there is a basic information uh, path prefix is hello world python and our uh, root prefix uh, for the route one is for hello world that is, uh, we are getting this function ID, uh, which we had seen in our uh, previous videos. Once done, uh, click on this create button. We'll copy this endpoint from here and uh, go to Postman and uh, we'll invoke this function. I have copy pasted my URL over here. I have hidden the URL using the environment uh, variables. So I have used the same endpoint, uh, what we got from here. So let me click on this send button. Okay, we are getting the response back from uh, our function that is hello world with the help of this uh, API gateway. Uh, let me give some customized request over here. So our function accepts name element in request. So we'll give API gateway 
request click on beautify and click on the send button yeah we are getting the customized message from our function that is hello api gateway request like this we can make use of this api gateway and call the functions suppose if you are getting 500 error uh, or probably that might be because uh, you need to add the ingress rule for your uh, a VPN created here uh, we had created VCN API under security list you have to go for this ingress role and enable this uh, uh, 443 traffic in your ingress uh, uh, for simplicity purpose I have I'm allowing traffic from all the IP addresses okay and uh, destination port is 443 so traffic port for port 443 is for the HTTPS calls post adding that also if you are getting 500 error then that might be because of the policy you need to go to this identity uh, policies and you have to create the policy uh, for the compartment where your uh, function is lying do you have to enable uh, for simplicity purpose i am allowing any user to use the functions family in compartment learning 236 uh, this is where our uh, function uh, has been deployed uh, if you have not watched that our previous video please check out the video where we had deployed our function to learning oci 236 compartment uh, wherein uh, i am giving the condition like where the request principal type is api gateway and the resource compartment id so this is the uh, compartment id where our api gateway has been configured so this is the resource id for that uh, post adding this you should be able to uh, get the you should be able to resolve the errors while invoking this function uh, via api gateway thank you for joining us in this video